Hi, today I'm going to show you how to update your HTML5 input form field validation error messages on a checkout page created by the eCart6 checkout wizard. To follow along with this tutorial, you will need to have created a shopping cart page with eCart. In Dreamweaver, open your shopping cart page, click on Web Assist, eCart, Checkout Wizard, and then you need to go through and set up your settings in the Checkout Wizard. I'm not going to cover all of the tabs in this tutorial, but you can take a look at the Form Design tab here with me. You can get an idea that you can design your form, the look and feel of it, the error format, the button style, and the colors, um, along with all of the information on the other tabs to output a checkout form. So once you've decided on all of your settings, then you want to go ahead and click Finish. This outputs a checkout page. So in Dreamweaver, you can move to Split View which is the easiest way, I think, to work with the validation error messages, and click on one of the input form fields. So I'm going to click on the first name form field on my checkout page. jQuery validation and server-side validation are automatically added to your checkout form um, using the eCart 6 checkout wizard, which is um, a big improvement over eCart 5 where you had to go back in and add the validation. So once you've clicked on that form field, then you can look over here in code view. And because this is an HTML5 form field, the JavaScript error message is right here in the title attribute. So I'll go ahead and show you what this page looks like in a browser right now. Here it is in Safari. Now if your user is filling out this checkout form, and say they skip over the first name field and forget to fill, fill it out, you can see this error message that we just saw in Dreamweaver code view, please enter your first name, shows up here as a nice clean little error message. So if you want to change um, what this message is, then we can go back to Dreamweaver and right here in the title attribute, we can change the message to say something else. In Dreamweaver Creative Cloud, um, you can use the property inspector to change that, but in older versions, uh, you need to do it in code view. So we'll go ahead and save this page. Then we'll go back to Safari. Let's refresh the page. Now let's skip this first name field again. And you can see the message has updated and you can see the bubble expands appropriately to be the right size automatically. So it's pretty easy. Now if you also want to change the server-side validation, say that your customer has JavaScript turned off in their browser, um, server-side validation is also automatically added using the eCart6 checkout wizard. So to change that one, I'll show you. Let's go back to Dreamweaver. Again, you can just click on the first name form field to bring you back to the proper place in your code. And right after the form field, you see some PHP code. And in between the span tag, you can see the server-side validation error message. You can change this one too. And that will change your server-side error message for you. So it's pretty simple, a lot simpler than it used to be. Um, if you have any questions or you need technical support to uh, follow along with this tutorial, please just visit us at www.webassist.com and you can click on help to get some assistance.